Now I'm in, now I'm intriguing, so. All right. Um, basically, ladies and gentlemen, now we're doing a binomial. If you guys can see, now we have radical expressions. Before, we just did multiplying. It was just an expression by an expression. Now we have what we call binomial expressions, multiplying binomial expressions. So the main important thing that we want to make sure that we do with this is we apply FOIL. Right? Anytime you guys see a binomial, one times a binomial, you need to apply FOIL. So in this case, all I'm going to do is do first FOIL. First, 10 times 10, which is 100. Outer, 10 times negative 3. Negative, uh, negative 10 square root of 3. You can't multiply a number outside of a radica radical inside. Um, inner, neg square root of negative 6 times 10. That equals 10 square root of 6. And then the last one, square root of 6 times square root of 3. However, as long as they have the same index, you can multiply two numbers inside there. So square root of 6 times square root of 3 is going to be the square root of 18. Now, I need to simplify this. Um, I'm taking the square root. I can't take the square root of 16, but is there a square number that divides into 18? 4, uh, four right? How many times is 4 going? No, not 4. Um, nine. 9. How many times is 9 going there? Nine. 2 times. So I can really rewrite this as square root of 9 times 2, which is really 3 times square root of 2. Do you guys agree with me? Yeah. And now, unfortunately, there's really no terms I can combine, but I can write my answer as 100 plus or 100 minus 10 square root of 3 plus 10 square root of 6 plus 3 square root of 2. I can't really add, combine these because they don't have the same radicand. So I just have to leave them out, and that's my answer. Okay.